All right, welcome back everybody. So over the past several videos, I've shown you how to animate your logos, how to animate titles, but every single one of those videos has one major flaw, at least from the perspective of workflow and efficiency. Every single one of those had required you to reanimate your logos or titles every time. And honestly, that's not really an efficient way to work, at least not in DaVinci Resolve. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to create a video with a transparent background. So if you have a logo animation that you like to use consistently every single time, you just have to render that out one time, drop in that video file on your next video project, and away you go. No more wasting time recreating that animation every single time. And without further ado, let's get right into this. So as you can see, I've already created a very basic animation here. Just a logo fading in, changing in size, and then at the end it's going to fade out into nothing. I've shown you how to make this in one of the first videos that I've made. So the first step here is going to be actually dragging this onto a higher up video track, so it's the very topmost one. From there, we can go under the toolbox section, go to generators, go to solid colors, and drag that into the lowest point of the video right here. We're going to drag this to match the end of the logo animation, and from there we're going to click on the solid color and change the opacity all the way down so it's invisible. From there, make sure that the solid color is highlighted, as well as the DaVinci Resolve logo. Just hold down your control button and click on both of them until they're both highlighted red. Right click, and then we're going to create a new compound clip. It doesn't matter what you name this because this is essentially the end of this portion of the video. So now we've basically merged both of those into one. We have our logo and then we have our background color, which is in this case, see-through as we've turned the opacity all the way down. From here, we can go to our deliver tab. I'm going to call this logo clip. The location is fine. Now the difference that we're going to be doing here is we're going to be rendering out an individual clip. The format that you can choose is QuickTime and we have to change our codec to this one right here, DNX HR. This one allows for the transparent backgrounds. To do that, we just have to click on this export alpha button and that's going to be pretty much it. Change your resolution if you need to. My canvas is 2560 by 1440, so that's perfectly fine for me. I'm going to add it to the render queue and then just start up this render. For me, it's only going to take a few seconds as I have a pretty powerful machine that I'm working with. And then just to show you that this is in fact a transparent clip, what I'm going to do is go back to my edit tab and I'm going to put in the normal video clip that I usually use in my videos here. And I'm just going to go a few seconds into the clip here and mute the music. From there, I'll also find my logo clip that I created, drag that in here as well, and plop it right over top here. And now if I play back from that point, we can see that it's completely transparent and it's that exact same animation that we used in the beginning of the video. And there you have it. It's as simple as that to create a logo with a transparent background. Now, one thing you do have to remember is that since this is a codec that's fairly lossless and we're transporting the alpha channel, it's going to be an absolutely massive file size. In this case, the eight second video that I just created there is almost a gigabyte. Just to put it into perspective, most of the videos that I upload to YouTube are between 75 and 200 megabytes, depending on the actual length and complexity of the video. So just make sure you have the storage capability to hold such video files, especially if you're creating a few of them. And if this video was helpful to you at all, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content that's coming up. 
Let me know if this video was helpful to you in the comments below, as well as let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.